Dougie said to me, we're making him sexy for you. And I was like, all right, Dougie. <laughs> he literally said those words, we're making him sexy for you. And it's like, oh, wow. okay. Hi, great to talk to you both. How are you keeping? Hi, Hi. You're saying, Nicola, I need to get the uh, Irish the in. Representing. <laughs> Everybody yeah. seems to do the uh, Cupola fuck a lot of the world. Everybody who's famous is doing it, and I'm glad you started off with good, that. Good, good. Um, I'm not going to report that, though. Don't quiz me. <laughs> We'll get to Ireland later on, baby. But listen, this season, I've not seen the first part. It's so good. I mean, you two, front and centre. How does it feel to go back? Because obviously you're used to doing this show. But how does it feel to go back and be like the main storylines? Do you know what I mean? It's been crazy, hasn't it? Yeah, whole it's been sad. Whole new Bridgeton experience for us both. And uh, yeah, it's, it was so nice to step into these roles and have like new, a new energy, a new version of these two characters that no one has seen before. Um you know, deep down, they're still the same. Yeah, the same goose that <laughs> are obsessed with each other. But uh, yeah, we'll 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 get we'll make our way there for sure. Yeah. Uh, and how do they break it to you that the, the storyline? I assume it's top secret for a very long time. Like, when do you yeah. find out? Is it together they tell you this is the deal, or where do you find that out? No, we basically we had just started season two. I cannot mm -hmm. remember. Not we were not very long into it. Mm -hmm. And Jess Burnell, we knew was going to be the showrunner for season three, and she was like, "I'm going to give you a call, sweet." Yeah. I thought it was general admin stuff for like, mm -hmm. how are you doing? And she was like, she was like, yeah, so we've been looking at the storylines and we just feel like it makes the most narrative sense to have Colin and Penn as the next love story. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. And I was kind of just like a bit terrified. And in my head, I was like, it's, it's, it was going to be four. And then, but then, you know, when it we need time to settle it in, it's very exciting. And we, so we had like a year of filming season two to like, yeah. oh, that'll be us next. Yeah. So okay. Kind of and what's interesting started. now is like, you towards the end of season two you could feel it happening like you know we were in a lot more our storylines really started to ramp up and there mm. were, then there was like the drama of the end of the show mm. when you know she hears colin talking about her and i was like it all makes sense now that we're yeah. getting to that you know yeah point of the show and we all know what it's like well most of us always like to have a wingman when you're out kind of on the dating scene back in the day yeah. for me it wasn't fun to do the scenes because colin kind of becomes a bit of a wingman for penelope, <laughs> penelope do you know what i mean <laughs> so is that a bit of crack i love those scenes yeah they were really fun really fun yeah it did like uh particularly like we got we had a lot of new cast members come in to play lords and a lot of that felt quite it had a rom-com element absolutely the they were really funny yeah really funny and mm. us getting to play off reactions of it it felt like yeah we entered into a new genre like sub-genre of bridgerton which um yeah it was really fun to to dive into <laughs> and, and nicola you're known for your fashion off camera and both on camera because bridgerton obviously has amazing costumes yes. like what was and, the, and the, the style changes for penelope in this show so what did you make of the fashion and do you get an input do they actually like look for your opinion yeah, you happened. know what? We actually did this season, which was incredible. Mm -hmm. And because for seasons one and two, I was like, I know I meant to look sort of dowdy and frumpy and all of that stuff. And I, you know, I don't really care what I look like on screen. If as long as it's serving the character, I'll just go with it. But for this season, it was exciting. I was like, I get to look nice. Mm -hmm. What a what a novel concept. That's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, I did. And they would like John Glazer, who designed the costumes, is the most like sarky, funny New Yorker. I just mm -hmm. adore that man. Um, but he's a genius and he has such respect for his team and the, the collaborative effort. There's like six people who make my dresses. So that is a huge amount of people just like cutting patterns and doing all this stuff. And then there was little things like they wanted, because a lot of Bridgerton is about the sexy hand touches. Mm. And I have little, very tiny baby hands. And they were like, the gloves, like, you know, you can age me down very easily. So like, they're, they're like, they're too baby girl. And I was like, what about like a Karl Lagerfeld, like in a, in a tool? And John Glazer was like, yeah. So they made me an entire like wardrobe of these little gloves. And I was like, that's so cool that yeah, I had like cool. that input. I loved it. Well, where do you get, where do you get your, your fashion knowledge from then? Do you know what I mean? You just threw in, I just said, throw it like Karl Lagerfeld. But, <laughs> you know, what? have you always been, did you grow up into your fashion? Um, My older sister, Clodagh, she very much used to, she used to be my unofficial stylist pre having my stylist, Amy. But I've always loved it, but it's it's something Bridgerton has definitely given me a new mm -hmm. film respect for fashion. I think you as well. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you see a garment being made from yeah. raw fabric, you see the drawings, you see everything. And it's so joyful to do that in a in a costume video. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I want to do that in, in real life? It's yeah. great. And it is true, Luke. Your your looks kind of change. I see online some people are calling it sexy pirate this season. You're you're <laughs> yeah, looking, you yeah. that. Are you feeling your look the look for Colin this season? Oh yeah. My first fitting, I was I sent you a picture, didn't I? Yeah. My first fitting in my new jacket. And I was still doing press for season two in yeah. LA. 
and looks at my picture. I was like, he looks gorgeous. I was <laughs> like, all right. And it's so funny, the costume department, I don't think you know they said this mm. to me. Dougie said to me, we're making him sexy for you. And I was like, all right, Dougie. <laughs> he? he literally <laughs> said those words, we're making him sexy for you. And I was like, oh, wow. okay. I love that in this year, they really tried to incorporate like <laughs> all of his travels, all of the places. You know, he travels to like 17 cities during the summer. Mm. So they wanted to like touch on different places that he traveled to and incorporate that into his style. And, um, you know, Mark, the first scene that we have is he said, yeah, this was, this was all the rage in Paris. Mm. Um, so, oh, yeah, Greg. he's really sort of bringing bringing <laughs> some style back from from Europe. Yeah. Well, listen, you're both so stylish. I'll have to say Sloan and being wrapped up. Thanks so uh, much. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. You can say Sloan. Oh, Sloan. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Congrats. <laughs>